Hello guys, welcome to an another video of our African series. In the previous part, we have discussed the important mountains and deserts of Africa. In this part, that is part 3 of the series, is going to be dedicated to rivers and lakes of Africa. First, we will study rivers followed by lakes. Therefore, let's ignite the engine of enlightenment. The first river that we will discover today is going to be the river Nile. Nile River is the world's longest river with a length of 6,650 kilometers. There are two major tributaries of the Nile. First, the White Nile. Second, the Blue Nile. The river White Nile originates from Lake Victoria, which is located in the central part of Africa. White Nile is longer than the Blue Nile and adds 20% water to the main Nile channel. Whereas the Blue Nile adds 80% water to the main channel of the world's longest river. Blue Nile originates from Lake Tana in Ethiopia and flows into Sudan from southeast. Both of these major tributaries co-influence in the north of Sudan's capital Khartoum. This is a satellite image depicting the confluence of these two tributaries in the north of capital of Sudan Khartoum. After the formation of main channel, the Nile further flows in the northern direction and finally falls in the Mediterranean Sea forming an arcuate delta. This is a satellite image of the arcuate delta formed by the Nile River. This delta stretches from Alexandria, a port city of Egypt to the another port city Port said the starting point of Suez Canal. This length is 240 kilometers along the Mediterranean coast. The capital city of Egypt, Cairo, is also located on the bank of the river Nile. Here, this is an important man made lake constructed on the Nile River called as Lake Nasser. Now I would like to ask one question to you viewers that name the capital cities of all important countries that are located on the bank of river Mekong in Asia. The second river of our today's discussion is the Congo River also called as the Jaya River. The Congo River originates from Boyoma Falls, also called as Stanley Falls in Democratic Republic of Congo. The Congo River is the world's second largest river in volume after the Amazon. It is the second longest river of Africa after Nile. Congo River is world's deepest river with a depth of 220 meters. Congo River is the only river in the world that crosses the equator twice. It falls in the Atlantic Ocean. In its basin, the world's shortest tribe, the Pygmies are found. This is an old photograph showing the comparison of height of the pygmies with the another people. These are the English officers. This group of people includes the Janjibars and the Sudanese. As compared to the rest of the people, the pygmies have considerably less height. The third major important river of Africa is the Niger River. The Niger River originates in Guinea Highlands in Guinea. It is a principal river of West Africa. This river falls in the Gulf of Guinea in the Atlantic Ocean 
forming the vast Niger Delta. There is an important port that is located near to the mouth of this river. The port is called as Port Harcourt. Niger is the third longest river of Africa after Nile and Congo. This river flows through Guinea, Mali, Niger and Nigeria. The fourth principal river of the dark continent is the Jambeji River. Jambeji River originates in Jambeji National Park in Jambia. It is the longest east flowing river of Africa that drains into the Indian Ocean. Jambeji River also marks the northeastern border of Namibia and northern border of Botswana. This river also makes a natural boundary between Zimbabwe and Zambia. There is an important lake located on the boundary of these two countries called as Lake Kariba. The most noted feature of the Jambeji River is the Victoria Falls, the world's largest waterfall by volume. The fifth river that is going to be a part of our today's discussion is Orange River. It originates in the Drakensberg Mountains of South Africa. This river is a westward flowing river which falls in the Atlantic Ocean through Alexander Bay. The Orange River makes a natural boundary between South Africa and Lesotho and South Africa and Namibia. These Drakensberg Mountains are old residual mountains. So for you viewers, I would like to put one question that name the mountain range of India that is also an old residual mountain range. The next river is River Limpopo. River Limpopo originates after the co-influence of the river Crocodile and Mariko on Botswana South Africa border. Limpopo is the second largest river in Africa that drains into the Indian Ocean after the Jambeji River. There is one interesting fact with the Limpopo River that this is the only river in the entire world that cuts the Tropic of Capricorn twice. Now we will study the important lakes of Africa. In this row, the first lake is the Lake Nasser, a man-made lake on the River Nile in Egypt. This is a satellite image showing Lake Nasser. Near to the Lake Nasser, there is an important dam on the Nile River, Aswan High Dam. Remember it, this is also important, can be asked in exam. The next lake is the Lake Tana, the source of the Blue Nile. Coming to the third lake, that is the Lake Turkana. Lake Turkana is located in Kenya. It is the Rift Valley Lake. After Lake Turkana, it comes the turn of largest lake of Africa, Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria is the source of the river White Nile. The equator also passes through Victoria Lake. It is shared by Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania. Victoria is not a rift valley lake. Near to Lake Victoria, there are two another important lakes, Lake Albert and Lake Edward. Both of these lakes are rift valley lakes. These are located on the border of Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Carrying the momentum ahead, now we reach to Lake Tanganyika. Lake Tanganyika is the 
world's second deepest lake after lake baikal it has a depth of 570 meters this is also the longest lake of african continent near to tanganyika it is lake malawi and another rift valley lake there is also a country called as malawi in africa here it is lake kariba a man made lake on the river jambezi on the border of zimbabwe and zambia this is lake chad it is shared by chad niger nigeria and cameroon going ahead is our last lake of our today's discussion that is the lake volta it is the world's largest artificial or man made lake it is located in ghana these are few questions for you viewers please attempt them write your answer in the comment section below so friends this was our today's edition of african series in our next video we will cover miscellaneous facts and data about the dark continent till that time be happy and cherishing we'll meet you again in our next video thank you jai hind